Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss case and case classification and how to create case classification using NVivo. Cases are the units of observation in your research study. They might represent people, places, events, organizations or other entities that you want to analyze and compare. In our example, researchers are the cases of the research. In NVivo, we use classification to store attribute information about our sources or about the play, people, places, or other cases in your project. We use K classifications to provide demographic details about the people, places, or other cases in our project. For example, for people, we can have attributes such as age, gender, education, job, etc. By creating case classification, we can conduct cross-analysis between these attributes and the themes or factors as captured by the node hierarchy. For example, in the researcher's example, we can cross-compare between people, demographics, and nodes to see the difference in positive attitude between young and older researchers or difference in work pressure across different study fields. Those comparisons would provide us with very useful information about our themes and how they are different across the cases. This video will focus on case classification. To create case classification from scratch, we go to create menu and select case classification. This option will allow you to create all case attributes from scratch. However, we will not use this approach since it takes more time and it's harder to keep track of. The easiest way to do it is to create a classification sheet in Excel and then import it to NVivo. The classification sheet allows you to see all the items assigned to a particular classification and see the attribute values set for each item. Note that there's a column for each attribute in the classification. The first column displays the cases or sources assigned to the classification. The cells contain the attribute values. You can select a different value or enter a new one. Here's the classification sheet, for example, of researchers in Excel. Make sure to save it as .csv instead of .xlsx. It is what NVivo requires. I will open it in Excel. It has different classifications, including person, age, discipline, gender, and stage. Note that under person field, the names must match exactly with the names in NVivo interviews folder. Any mismatch will result in error or incorrect classification. Hence, please double check carefully. Another important thing, you have to close this Excel file before importing it to NVivo. Otherwise, and we will give you an error message, which is very vague and confusing. Let's go back to NVivo. The first step is to create cases from the interview files. As you can see here, we do not have any cases yet. In order to do that, we will need to select all files by holding the Shift key. Right click and select Create As and choose Cases. Now all of those files are created as cases. Note the names of those participants. Again, make sure they match the one in the Excel. To import the classification sheet, we go to Import tab on the menu and select Classifications and Classification Sheet. It will open the wizard, guiding us through all steps. The first step is to browse and find our classification sheet. Make sure it is in CSV form. On step 2, we choose case classification for classification type and check the box create new attributes if they do not exist because we do not have anything yet. We type person in the text box, click next. On step 3, we make sure to check the box create new cases if they do not exist. Click next. On step 4, we keep the default option and click import. Here is the results. NVivo created a case classification for our cases. It called person and is located under case and case classifications on the left panel. We see all attributes including age, discipline, gender and stage. And under cases, we see all cases represented by all participants. 
they are imported from the classification sheet. Now the question is, does it work? Let's check. Go to Explore tab and click Cross tab. The Cross tab query allows us to run queries for nodes and case the attributes. I will cover it in more detail in another video. In Codes, I click plus sign which opens the Codes window. I will select all parent nodes and click Select. They will be added to the Codes window under Attributes down here. We'll select our person under classification and in attributes we'll select gender and then age. We set the box include unassigned not applicable. We leave it unchecked. Let's scroll up and click run query. We'll see if the case classification is linked to the codes. Here's the output. You can see it shows the numbers representing the cross comparison between nodes and attributes. Thus, everything works correctly, meaning there are uh, connections between cases, classifications, and the codes, and we can run more analysis. Suppose you see all zeros for the query results. That means we have not established the needed connection. This is a common issue we may experience in this step. So how to fix this issue? First, let's go back to our interviews folder, showing all participants. We will highlight all of them, right click, select code files, and two existing codes or cases. In this window, we select the box cases, which select all cases. That would establish the connection. So that is how to import case classification into NVivo. Thank you and bye now.